as I drop my phone. Okay, it takes a second. All right. Okay, looks like we're now live on Facebook. Hello, everyone out there. Don't see how many people are watching just yet, but uh, okay. takes a second. Hello, oh. everyone out there. Okay, I hear feedback. That might be you. Mine's turned down. Okay, I didn't hear it that time. So, okay, we've got three. We've got a couple people watching. So we, I will. Uh, I'll turn it over to you, Deb. Okay, doke. Well, hello everyone. Um, we're gonna we're gonna give everybody just a couple minutes um, to get on here. I think it's it's just pretty much right at three o'clock, three o two. So, want to welcome you all to our awards presentation for our uh, all member online exhibition, our second annual. Um, we're so happy to have um, one of our new newest AIS masters, Dan Beck, here with us. He was our um, awards judge for this show. So we'll just hang tight here for another couple minutes. Liz, you want to give me a shout when you think we should go ahead and get started? Yeah, we've got already 11 people uh, live watching. Hello, everyone. I've got, um, so I'll just do a couple of hellos because I'm seeing them on my phone. Marlene Geiger, Susan Bunce Ritter, Bobby Flintrop. So we know we've got people besides us, which mm -hmm. is good. Great. great so great. they're they're coming on. So I can see them coming on. So whatever. Right. Yeah. And um, we're good. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and get started. Um, again, welcome everybody. Um, happy Halloween Eve. <laughs> um, we are about to do our awards presentation for our second annual all member uh, online exhibition for the American Impressionist Society. I'm Deborah Joy Grosser. I am the president and CEO of AIS. And uh, with us is Dan Beck, um, one of our newest masters. And he served as our awards judge this year. So you want to go ahead and flip the slide, please? Uh, yep, sorry. I was just doing too many things at once. That's okay. Okay. Oh, hold on a second here. Where am I going? <laughs> Did someone advance, huh? There we go. <laughs> oh, it should. Did it advance? No, not yet. Oh, no. Gotta, gotta love live presentation. I know. <laughs> Okay, it did not advance. Okay, well, we'll just we'll just go ahead and talk about the next uh, the next slide is all about Dan, our um, our awards judge, and um, Dan. I, it was really interesting reading about you, Dan, and all the different things that you've done prior to uh, pursuing your art career. Um, yeah. Dan has done. Uh, construction on the beaches of Florida. He worked as a ranch hand in Arizona. Um, he was in the military. Uh, he refinished furniture for a while. And um, everywhere he went, he filled sketchbook books and journals. Uh, then he moved to Colorado. And after a couple of years in college, he realized that the thing that meant the most to him were his sketchbooks. So he quit his job in college and sold everything he had and decided that commitment to one path was where all the previous paths had led him. He now lives in Wilmington, North Carolina with his wife and his two daughters. And he has lots of uh, awards that he's won. Um, as, as I said, he is a master uh, signature member of AIS. He's won six awards in AIS shows. Um, he's also won two gold medals with Oil Painters of America and uh, one in 2017 for the Eastern Regional and one in 2011 for the National Exhibition. He's won nine awards of excellence with OPA, two consecutive Raymar Art Competition awards of excellence. There we go. And first place, second place, and 10 finalists with Bold Brush Art Competition. So welcome, Dan, and uh, thanks for being our judge this year. 
Um, Deb, I'm gonna I'm gonna interrupt for a second, Deb, because of my yeah. little issue. Do you can you see Dan's only Dan's page right now? Yes. You don't see any other previews. No. Perfect. Okay. okay. We're good. All right. All right. Let's go to the next uh, the next slide. All right. So this year we had a lot of entries. Uh, we had over 1,700 and out of the 1,700, 250 were juried into this exhibition. Uh, Liz, if you haven't seen it already, Liz did a wonderful online catalog through Flipping Book. Um, there's live links to every artist's website um, if, if you gave us that information. And then uh, most of the works are for sale. There are some that aren't. Um, that's one thing that we really uh, have found that our members love about this show is the work doesn't necessarily have to be for sale. So, uh, and we do not handle the sales. The sales will go directly through the artist. So any of you that are watching um, who aren't members, uh, if you're interested in any of the pieces, please feel free to contact the artist directly. Uh, we like to talk a little bit about the jury process that we do. Um, AIS does uh, uses juried art services, um, which is one of the online digital art jury services. We have a whoop, what happened there, Liz? Oh, sorry. <laughs> we just flipped to something else here. Did we? Is it back? Nope. Oh man. I see a something magic quadrant for meeting solutions is what I'm That's seeing. That's not what we want. How about now? Nope. Oh, no. I'm going to um, stop screen sharing for a second here. I don't know what's okay. going on. And All right. while, you're doing that, while you're doing that, I'll talk about the jury process. How's that? Okay, going? great. Okay, so um, AIS, uh, ha we have a, a panel of five jurors, and we do this for every single one of our shows, the gallery shows, the national show, small work show, and the online shows. We have a panel of five jurors. Each of those jurors works independently, and they score every single painting uh, from one to seven. The awards judge is not one of the jurors. Um, so the, I know there's a lot of confusion with that. Sometimes people want to contact the awards judge and get a critique on you know, why or why not their painting got it, why their painting didn't get in the show or whatever. But the awards judge does not, uh, is not a part of that jury panel. Um, they, they strictly give the awards. And so uh, we have and, and the jurors are are all either master or signature members of AIS and the judging is done blind so that the, the uh, jurors do not see the names of the artists so it's strictly okay we're getting there <laughs> I, I now I see the whole thing now I see the whole thing okay back to where we should be uh yeah I'm seeing one extra oh well uh, 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 I, I see the first award. Uh oh, oh no! Uh, go back. I'll try that. I think we're going to have a problem here. Oh dear. Oh. Um. All right. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Um, so <laughs> we'll get it figured out. Um. Anyway, so basically, what happens once once the jurors are all done scoring all of those. Uh, all of those uh, paintings, then the highest scoring pieces are the ones who get in the show. And it's a, it's a very long process, um, you know, especially when you have 1700 pieces, you know, these jurors work for sometimes two, three weeks um, going through and scoring all of these. So uh, we really appreciate their work. And um, as far as um, the judging, um, let's see. Looks like we're, we're still having issues here. So yeah. I'll let you and Dan chat for a second here. I'm really sorry. Okay. Um, so I'm going to turn this over to Dan right now. I know everybody's always uh, interested to know what the judges criteria are as far as, um, you know, how they do their judging. And so Dan, if you want to uh, say a little bit about your process and what you were looking for kind of in general terms, then we're, we'll talk about each painting individually once we like get to in general. Sure, sure. Well, first of all, I just want to say this was mind boggling. The, the number, I mean, the number of really terrific pieces, we had 250, that was what I had to choose for 14 total. I had triple that, that were all like I thought, these, these need to have an award. 
obviously that can't happen. So, but I'm so impressed. I'm so inspired. What a great show. Um, it's a big responsibility. It's a big honor. And I'm, I'm figuring like the negative side is everybody's going to hate the judge <laughs> except for the very few. But the positive side is let's all party with the ones that do make it. So that's what I'm thinking. Let's party, enjoy their success and uh, have some fun with it. So, and I'm honored to be able to do that. To be able to, I know that some of the people that I gave a award to with another judge might not have got the award. So that's kind of fun for me, that part of it, I enjoy. So, and I'll, I'll give a little bit, um, you know, this show is crazy because you go from, you go, you run a gamut for subject matter. You have landscapes, still lifes, figurative work. You have uh, from, you know, the looser, more intuitive type of work to the more logical type of work. Um, all of this is in one show. So we're not just judging one, you know, how to, who painted the egg better. You know, it was, it's just, it's all over the board. It all bounces around in that wonderful world of impressions. So as a judge, what I try to do is remember that. I go over the whole, all the paintings and form some kind of mental picture of the gamut that we're running. And I know that just because I might like paintings of shoes or whatever, I'm not going to go and give you know five awards to the sh just shoe paintings. I'm a, I want to do look at everything in context, and the, and everything has validity to it. So uh, you know, obviously, there's a certain set of uh, you know rules that that we can sort of judge things by, and then some of it's going to be subjective. So that's where we are. So. Um, and in the end, I came up with the 14 that I came up with. And, you know, and thank you so much, Dan. I know how hard it is. Um, we just, uh, with our, our national show here, CW Monday was the, the judge of awards. And I know he, it, it, watching the judges agonize over these decisions is really brutal. So, yeah, you want to go over there too. There's several of them that you want to go apologize with, like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but like I said, let's focus. I want to just focus on this is this day uh, on this show. It's the nature of these shows. Without these shows, yeah. we, we're really lacking something in the art world. So it's real special. And so I would just say we'll just party with everyone that won awards. That's there we I go. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. The other thing I want to share too is that um, we had a lot of new members um, that just joined this year, last year, um, that actually were accepted in this show. And we always love to celebrate those of you who this is your very first AIS show. Uh, I think that the thing that's so meaningful for for me and the rest of us that are in leadership in this organization is to know that we've had a little part in your artistic journey and and helping to elevate you to the next level so oh whoops liz what i, I know i'm all doing. here's the good thing i think i fixed my problem so okay all right yes so that's okay that's i'm just i'm just trying to get to my let to my i think we fixed it okay. okay so now if i go from beginning all right now Again, you got a love life. There we go. <laughs> okay, and it's only gay, and it's only the singles. Hopefully, you're going to get rid of that. Oh shoot, you're going to see that thing on the left. I can't help that. Okay. No, all I see is just the one screen. Okay. All I see is no. just the one. Okay, so good. I I apologize, everybody. I uh, in the you know tech run through it worked fine. Okay, we're still here. We okay. should be good. So. All right. All right. So we're going to start with um, the honorable mentions. Each of the honorable mentions is a $75 cash award funded by AIS. And uh, there are 10 of them. So let's start with the first one. And it goes to Lon Brower for Bird. It's a 16 by 20 oil. Dan? Oh, yeah. I mean, this you know, for me, the, I love the abstraction and painting. This one just knocks my socks off with uh, you know, just a powerful arrangement of shapes and values. And, uh, you know, and then in doing that, the, you know, the emphasize the, the rooster and doing what roosters do. I think it's just an awesome piece. So congratulations to Ron. Uh, really good, really good piece. Fantastic. All right, congratulations, Lon. Um, the next one is uh, Etude de Tournesois, which actually means study of sunflowers, and it's by April Burris. 
right? Again, this one is a more way from the intuitive side, which I really love. Um, this is one of the paintings that if you go and study the brushwork on here, textures, uh, among just the, uh, the beautiful design of her shapes, uh, it's got everything going for it. It's just, it feels like, I like, this feels like sunflowers. When, what, what sunflowers do, it, that feeling about it. And I think that little hit of blue where the vase is, is the perfect complimentary foil for the whole painting. So awesome piece, big congratulations. Congratulations, April. Next one, next honorable mention goes to Patricia Demansky for Buttercup Smiling. Right, this is like, this is one of those less is more paintings. Uh, real simple in its uh, conception. I love, I actually love the abstract shape of that like diagonal uh, rectangle that the, the, the dog's head forms in the painting. Background hand, real simple. And, but what really gets me with this painting is the expression in the dog's face. It's about, after all, what, how does that communicate? How does this painting communicate to us as viewers? And this one just, I mean, I, I just kept looking at this painting. I couldn't forget this painting. Beautiful, beautiful work. Great emotive power. Congrats. Well deserved. Love it. Love it. All right. Next honorable mention goes to Margaret Dyer for her beautiful pastel called First Day at the Beach. Right. Talking about this is, yeah, pastel. This, the gamut. This one was, you have the subtlety and color in some paintings, and this one was boom. Color, color, color. I think the first thing that grabbed me was I kept my eyes just kept like I'm there looking at life. And the color makes me feel the movement of, the, of what's going on here, the ocean and the people. So her masterful use of not, not literally brushwork, but her manipulation of the pastel and the color in it just make this piece magic. Plus design, there, I mean, there's nothing, everything. Design is great. There's nothing lacking. Beautiful piece. I love this piece. So again, congratulations. I love all the colors in that sand too. Yeah, I like oh, a lot right. of seascapes myself. It's like, oh man, it's just gorgeous. Right. She changed, changed, changed. I know change, change everywhere you look, uh, subtle, uh, impressive thing. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Congratulations, Margaret. All right. Next honorable mention goes to Bill Farnsworth for Cool Shade. <laughs> Yeah, great, great, great study, and uh, this is a master of um, you know so much of the tools we use to create painting, and um, has a, the feel of logic to it, the, the specialness of, of putting all the pieces together correctly. And but if you study all his small shapes, his design and control of uh, just the rhythm in the small shapes, and his control of working te uh, active areas with quieter areas. Everything is so well orchestrated in this painting, leading back to his vocal idea. Just a, God, just a wonderful piece. Congrats, <laughs> well deserved. That dappled light is just killer too. Just love yeah. that. <laughs> and also another thing, like God, I have so much action, we had more time, but yeah, his use of uh, horizontals and uh, verticals, mm -hmm. and then he's countered that with those diagonals that are in the dappled light and different, you know, the tree angle of it. It's just really just killer design. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Wonderful. Okay, go on. <laughs> Congratulations, Bill. Well deserved. Next one, uh, Rose Kennedy, Bloom Where You're Planted. I just love the title of this one. I know, right? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. perfect. And then, and somehow just, I mean, I think, I mean, that subject is really hard to pull off. I mean, it really is to make it, she did it just beautifully. I mean, the flowers, the red of the flowers designed perfectly, you know, uh, exciting, not overly detailed, not underly, you know, suggested. Uh, you know, those create your, your activity or active area in the painting and then her suppression of detail in the background and working as a foil against it. Uh, really nice use of color, subtle color and temperature shifts, really subtle, great piece. I love it. Congratulations, Rose. I love how you talked about the the subtleness of the of the background too. I think sometimes we get so tied up in you know detail that right. you know how, how that was suppressed. Boy, beautiful, beautiful. All right, congratulations, Rose. Uh, next honorable mention goes to a watercolor. It's uh, John Kelty for Black River Reflections. 
Are you getting it, Liz? It, yeah, it, it's yeah. It was. It'll come up in a second. Okay. It should. Did it not come up? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Let's try again. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we now, go. hopefully, hopefully, it's not going to go forward fast. <laughs> okay. Yes, hopefully not. You got it. You got it. Um, yeah, again, less is more. Boom. This one just stopped me in my tracks. Uh, watercolor, uh, very intuitive to lay in something like that and then. Um, you know, realize something, it, it, all that needs to be said is being said. And, uh, you know, it has like a kind of a classic uh, green red with the brown complementary thing, but it's also got a purple yellow thing going and a little bit of purple in the shadows. And as you go down towards the focal point where the darkest dark is, you get a little more of the pure color lime green. So real subtle stuff making this thing, it's already good and making this thing just snap. I, like I said, some paintings you kind of you don't ever get the feeling like, you know, I wish I would have painted that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Congrats. Great. Congratulations, John. Yeah. Next honorable mention goes to Elizabeth Robbins for Remnants. Right. Can't say enough about this painting. Another one that, you know, as I go through and judge, you know, I have, you know, I have the 14 to pick from and then I had down to 28. So, and then the next day I would think about it again. And this is one that just I like, would not get out of my head. So, um, I mean, for a lot of reasons, but it's design wise, first of all, it's, it's sunflowers, but it's not sunflowers in their prime, right? It's sunflower, sunflower what, it, so that could be interpreted a lot of different ways. It's design, perfect design. Her color choices are almost meditative. They're subtle. The, even the greens that she, the, the greens, the faded greens that are in the leaves. Um, I just, I can go on. This painting, uh, is, you know, her diagonals, her design sense, everything about this painting is special. So I, I love it personally. I love it. Uh, congrats, well deserved. This one kind of reminds me a little bit of some of Andrew Wyeth's, uh, you know, the corn stalks and things uh, that he right. did, and I, and the her use of negative shapes in there too, just yeah. killer. Yeah, really wonderful. Congratulations, Liz. All right. Actually, Elizabeth Robbins is online. She says, oh, thank you is. very much. I'm so honored. So she, she just posted that online. Oh, good. good, good. Glad you're watching, Liz. Congrats well, again. We'll party with you, Liz. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next honorable mention goes to Katrill Srebnik for another beautiful snow scene. View from my studio, Winchester. Right. This is another one that's sort of like, I, I, you know, the, the just the design aspect of this, the flatness and the subtlety of that snow. I, you know, now I live somewhere where hopefully it doesn't snow at all, but, but uh, I lived many years where it did. And one of the most beautiful aspects of snow and snowing is how quiet it is sometimes. It's so, as I've never been around that kind of quiet before. And I think this painting expresses that. The great rectangular dark foil in the foreground kind of, you know, jump starts you into that world of quietness, and design, and snow. And as an artist thinking about that, an artist showing us what, you know, what you see and feel about things. That's how, that's what I think. So anyway, huge congrats, love the painting. Beautiful. Congrats again, Katrill. And the last of the honorable mentions goes to Luann Weidergren for Old Workhorse. But I, I, the, my first word when I saw this was iconic. I mean, everything about this just feels huge. I mean, it's, it's almost graphic in its inception. Um, but all the shapes, the cloud shapes, the foreground shapes, if you look into them, the little subtle brushwork, it's movement everywhere. Even in the, her edge work on that tractor is in and out, pushing and pulling everywhere. It's an exciting ride. Uh, when you get up close to it, really close. And then from the distance, it's just this powerful statement of, like I said, it feels iconic. It feels huge. So anyway, love the painting, congrats. Fantastic. Yeah, congratulations, Luann. Now we're on to our, uh, we have an award of distinction, which is a featured artwork for one month on fineartconnoisseur.com. And the value is $750. So we thank them for, for sponsoring this award. 
And it goes to John Hughes for Big Sur Coastline. And this one's in acrylic. John is online. John is going to join us. Let me see if I can get him on here. Fantastic. He caught, we, uh, here we go. Right. Hey, John. Right. It says connecting. All right. Hmm. Hey, John, turn your volume down on your Facebook when you're with your what you're watching. Oh, okay. All the way down, yeah. There we Can go. you? All right. Yep, that sounds yeah. good. Great. Congratulations, John. Yeah, congratulations, John. Should I go ahead and say? I want yeah, to say go, go for it, Dan. Another, yeah. another John say something after this. Yeah, this was one of the pieces when I first saw it. Like, you always want to feel like that nothing is done piecemeal, that it all fits together and works as a whole. The first feeling I got about this one, how special this thing was working as one unit uh, with the rocks and the water, the brushwork in there, the subtle textures and designs. Um, you know, it's a feast for the eyes up close. And it's, uh, you know, like I said, it just has this feeling of the whole thing. No, it's not, nothing's piecemeal. Everything's working together. Beautiful, congrats. Love seeing the work, very inspirational. Thank you so much, Dan. Sure. Thanks. And thanks for joining us. It's good to see you. Righty, good to see you too. <laughs> All right. All righty. Well, congrats again. And uh, we'll go on to our next award, which is we have we have an award for associate members, and then we have an award for signature members. And the next one is first place for associate members. It's $750 cash um, from AIS, and it goes to Patricia McGinney for Sun Hat. There it is. <laughs> yeah, awesome piece. I mean, I was first struck by it. it's a sunlit, it's sunlit, but it was really subdued and it's chroma. Uh, uh, everything's grayed down, everything's quiet. It kind of gives sort of a legal feel to it. So it's not playful to me. It's not playful, it's, it's sort of, it's regal, it's grand. And I think it has a lot to do with the palette and her glance back at us. And I look, and I love the background light and shadow in the greens. The design again is real important. The small shapes against the big shapes in the green. Well designed, beautiful shapes in and of themselves, and that does matter a lot to me. And then, and then, funny, right under the hat is little shots of pure color on, on either side, just a little bit pure, kind of. I don't know, it just sort of is a foil uh, and a contrast for everything else going on, and plus her expression. Great piece, congrats. Beautiful. Do we have Patricia on with us, Liz? We don't. I left a message and an email, so hopefully maybe that means she's out painting somewhere and having a great time or something. Hopefully so. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're watching this later, uh, congratulations, Patricia. And then next we've got first place for signature members. And again, $750 cash goes to Eric Jacobson for American Eagle on the Ways. And we yeah, do have it. Eric, he's Here connecting. He Very cool. Eric, this, be, I don't know if you can hear me right now, but uh, for everybody, this, I just, same thing, extremely strong design, a series of those uh, diagonal graphic uh, geometric type shapes working its way up towards uh, the boat. Uh, the subtle, subtle curved lines on the boat working as a foil for that. I mean, everything about the same thing. So, so it's, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Is that the right way to say that? It's just everything works as, as one. Um, yeah, and, the, and only, not only that, the great subtle brushwork and the textural, uh, confident application of paint. Great piece. Congrats. <laughs> Congratulations, Eric. It's good to see you. Oh, oh, I think if you turn on your turn on your microphone. <laughs> I think you're muted. <laughs> you're muted, Eric. You unmute. Oh. Let's try it again here. Again, you gotta you gotta love live <laughs> doing this live. <laughs> Are we there? Oh, oh, he's. <laughs> I don't can't know. read. Don't know how. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> all right. All righty. All right, well, let's go on to the next award since we can't get Eric's voice on there. <laughs> All right, um, next award is first place for master members and it's a, another $750 cash award goes to Don Whitelaw for farm fragments. There she, there is. she is. Oh, great. Hi, Hello. Dad. All I can say, my, my, the first words out of my mouth when I saw this one was, wow, wow, wow. Um, and oh, it got better from there. I mean, you feel like you're, when you, when you experience, like, you know, we always, like I said, there's always this from logic to intuitive side of pain. And, you know, of course, a lot of painters, most of us are somewhere, we're trying to use a little of both. This, I think, hits both ends as high as you can get. It's just a great Thank you. Um, and, you know, and this one, if you like textures the way I do and paint movement manipulation, this is, and look at all the design of the small shapes in between things and everything. Um, the dance, this is a dance. Everything in this painting is dancing. It's congratulations. It was an honor to give a, some recognition uh, to the painting. <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, you know, as painters, we paint so much in isolation. So it's so encouraging to get some recognition for your work. So thank you. That's a beautiful piece, Don. So thank you. Congratulations. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> All right. Take care. Thanks. And okay. So before we go on to our uh, best of show, um, it, we have we have something this this time that's never happened before actually um this person uh just won or has won best of show in another of our shows this year we do have a policy that um the best of show winner in each show can't win in the same show for three years um but we don't have a rule that you can't win best of show in every show in one year. <laughs> so uh, it, this person is so deserving. And I think I think you'll see as soon as we reveal this, but best of show $2,000 cash award goes to Joe Wang, who won best of show and artist choice in our national show here in Omaha. So uh, it's called Woman Milky and Magnolia. So Joe, congratulations. So well deserved. Is Joe with us, Liz? He's he's not. He said he didn't he didn't know if he could um, join us today. The time, you know, out in California, what time is it? So, but right. he 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 does know. He was watching online a few minutes ago. So, oh, good, good. He might okay. he might be listening. Good, good. Dan, take it away. Well, yeah. I mean, all, all I can say is he's an artist. Artist, you know, um, everything about this is worth studying and just enjoying. His control of values is amazing. His drawing is amazing. The color chroma work in the painting is so varied and so, uh, you know, inspirational. Just, I mean, he's an artist, artist. Tip your hat and congrats, Joe. Absolutely. We're, we're so honored to have someone of Joe's caliber join our organization. Uh, it, it, we just really, really appreciate it. And uh, what, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful painting again. So congratulations. So we just want to uh, want to congratulate all the winners. Um, we are, uh, and not only just the winners, but everybody who was uh, accepted into the show too, whether you won an award or not, um, being one of 250 out of 1700, that's a huge accomplishment. So um, you may hear my dog, she just came walking in. <laughs> Uh, we are accepting renewals for 2022 now. So if you want to go ahead and renew your membership, you can go to the website and do it there. Um, we'll be sending out invoices the 1st of December um, to, to remind you to do that. Um, it, our next show will be the sixth annual AIS uh, Impressions Small Work Show. It's going to be at Wilder Nightingale. Gallery in Taos, New Mexico, May 12th through June 19th. Uh, James Richards is going to be our awards judge then. Uh, we'll open that for entries on January 3rd. And then the opening week will be May 9th through May 14th. And if you're planning on going to the plein air convention, this is the weekend right before the plein air convention. So um, might be a, a fun thing to do both. <laughs> 
Um, Dan, do you have any any other parting words you'd like to say? Well, yeah, hugely important. I just want to give give a huge appreciation to you and Liz and the AIS organizations. Honor the work you do. I mean, we all need to. I don't know. Take you out for a coffee or a drink, whatever. <laughs> and, and, and more than that, I mean, you make an event happen without. Just imagine the world without this, right? It's just, I think artists have thrived when there's positive things and, and negative things, right? But nothingness is the worst an artist can have. And with AIS, there's always something going on. So <laughs> you, on my part, thank you. And I'm sure I'm speaking for everybody. Thanks. Thank you. Well, it, it's, it's an honor. And I tell you, we are so blessed to have Liz with us. Um, you know, before she's been with us now almost going on two years already. And um, thanks to all of her hard work. Um, you know, when, when, when you have volunteers who are also full time artists that are trying to run the whole thing, um, it's really tough to balance, you know, our own careers plus you know, the demands of an organization like this. And now I think we, we're up to 2,100 members, Liz, I think. Yes, we are. Which is incredible. So um, we just so appreciate all of the support of, of all of our members, you know, our masters, uh, our, from Master Signatures Associates, all of you, all of our sponsors, um, everybody who supports what we do. Um, I can tell you it's a labor of love. Um, we absolutely love this organization and it, it just, um, it's just such a, an honor and a pleasure to be able to do this. And, you know, we all elevate each other. That's what we do. So anyway, Liz. I'd like to share a few notes online. So Dan, um, quite a few of the artists online have said, thank you. Just those bits of insight really helps them understanding the judge's point of view. Um, Deb, you get it. you're getting lots of great shout outs, which is wonderful. <laughs> and Joe Wang is watching. So he did see that he got first place. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, so we're, so we're good. So yeah, so good, nice comments on there. Um, so Dan, once again, uh, lots of artists really do appreciate. And this is being recorded. So I will, uh, that you can find on the, uh, uh, AIS uh, the, the, the public page and then I will post um, all the images of the winning pieces I'll post this PDF on our website and I'll share it on Facebook um, here in just a few minutes that sounds great that sounds great so I hope you all have a wonderful weekend happy Halloween <laughs> hope this wasn't too spooky for you we, we decided not to make it spooky <laughs> So it, thanks so much for your support of AIS and congratulations again, Dan. Thank you again so much. So thank, thank have you. a great weekend and hopefully we'll see you in Taos. Take care. <laughs>